we have got to learn how to discipline our mind to think kingdom. Y'all, why is it that the first thing that comes in our mind, it don't even matter what happens, is a negative thought or a thought that ain't got nothing to do with being true, with being honest, with being admirable, with things that are excellent and praiseworthy? Why is it that the first thought that we have, and see, what happens is this. The enemy will put a lie in your head, and what we do is we just mull it over and roll it over and roll it over, and then you wonder why there is no change. You're believing a lie. You're putting your weight on a lie. So what kind of change you expect to get when the change is a lie and it can't hold you up? Or when the thought, rather, is a lie and it can't hold you up? Okay. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. It says, now here go Paul. Paul, I love Paul. He was bad. Now he's talking to the church in Colossae. He didn't charge to three different people, telling them the same thing. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, you saved now. Set your sights on the realities of heaven where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Look at verse 2. It, think about the things of heaven, not the things on the earth. Think about the things of heaven, not the things on the earth. He needs you to be disciplined in your mind. Guys, anything that you want to do, I don't care if it's good or bad, it starts in your it starts in your mind. Sin starts in your, it starts in your, before you called him knowing that it ain't going to be no next fix until you already had the thought in your mind. If I could just get over there. Yeah, y'all know I'm going to tell you the truth. Guys, we need to be disciplined in our minds. Some of us think like the world, but won't God results. We want miracle signs and wonders, but our thoughts lead us to mess, mayhem, and foolishness. He said, I need you to do a 180. As soon as that thought comes in your mind, cast that thing down. I tell people this. They say, well, what do I do when a lie comes in my head? I said, for every lie the devil gives you, give them two tools. What you feed will lead. If you feed your spirit, that's what will lead you. But if you feed your flesh that nasty mess and lies, that's what's going to lead you. So we got to be disciplined in our minds. Second area, we need to be disciplined. Guys, we got to be disciplined in our bodies. Uh Uh-oh. We got to be disciplined in our bodies. Give me scripture. First Corinthians chapter 6. Yep, we're going there. Talking to the, Paul talking again to the church in Corinth. He says, don't you realize that your body is the temple, the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You don't belong to yourself. (laughs) For God bought you with a high price, his life, Jesus, his life. He said, so you must Honor God with your body. Now, y'all, I'm just going to just take the cap off. When he was talking to the church in Corinth, if you read the verses before, he was talking about sexual sin. Adultery, fornication, masturbation. I'm going to tell y'all a story. There is a friend of mine. We used to work together. And I was, I'm I'm just going to be transparent. For a couple of days straight, I was like, oh, my God. (laughs) I had to plead the blood of Jesus. I was like, no, we ain't doing what is happening. Oh, my God. I'm trying to keep it up here. Y'all get what I'm saying? So she's another believer. So I was like, girl, you got to pray for, like, I need help this time. I I don't want to call my pastor with this. He's my brother. I can't. I will not. Shall not. I was like, I need your prayers. I need you. And she said to me, she said, she said, well, just, girl, just do what I do. Just handle yourself. And I took a a stick a step back. I said, girl, I said, that's that's a sin. She said, no, it's not. I said, ma'am, I said, that's a sin. She said, no, it's not. She said, there's nowhere in the Bible that says that it's a sin. I said, well, there's a whole lot of stuff in the Bible, but your moral conscience tell you that it ain't right, that it's against God. 
So we continue to talk. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I said, well, who did he intend for relations to be with? I said, because the last time I checked, he sure didn't say relate to yourself, Psalms 1 and 5. That ain't what... <laughs> Do y'all see me? He didn't say that. It's supposed to be between a husband and a wife. And she said, yeah, but it's still, and she still, she, she was holding to her guns. That, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. That, that ain't, it's not a sin. You, you, they, but it's your loss. You just go ahead on and just be bothered. And you, it's just your loss. I said, well, let me ask you this question. I said, who are you thinking about when you do it? She said, oh, I said, gotcha. <laughs> The Bible says, the Bible says, I believe it's what, uh, I, I wrote it down, Matthew 5, 28, that if you even look on a woman to lust after her, you done already committed adultery. So what are you thinking about in your mind when you're relating to yourself? Ma'am, no, ma'am, no, so young, young person. It is wrong. God said, stop it. He said, stop. I know you're saying I'm not hurting nobody. It's just me. I'm not hurting nobody. I, Lord, I just, oh, Lord, it'd be tough out here in these streets. And he said, yes. But let me give you what I want you to have. And so that it could be in the beauty of holiness. I'm still talking about discipline. <sighs> Guys, we have to be disciplined in how we take care of our bodies. Guys, I was looking it up. And some of... Uh, the, the black church, unfortunately, is some of the most unhealthy people on the face of the earth. Y'all want to know what I used to say? Y'all, I've, 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 God ain't through with me yet. I just, I'm not skinny. I know y'all probably saying, well, it ain't that much difference between them two pictures. I don't know what she talk about. I'm on a journey. And since March 27th, I've been exercising discipline. And over 30 pounds later, don't talk to me. We have got to take care of our bodies. You know, God has been telling me since 2018, can you get it together, get it together, get it together, get it together. And, and, and I said, Lord, listen, I didn't give you everything else. You're going to take my Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Lord, listen, I show up on time. I do. I study and read your word. I'm praying. I'm intercessing. I'm doing what you asked me to do. Now you want to take my Chipotle? And he's saying, yeah, because it has become an idol for your life. Anytime you put food before me, that has become your God. Ooh. So we got to take care of our bodies. Another thing God let me know when, we, when I was, yeah. He said, listen, how are you going to preach the word of God? How I need you to preach it and you can't breathe. Oh, y'all laughing, but I'm dead serious. Some of us, because we don't physically take care of ourselves, God says, I can't use you. I want to use you on the welcome team, but after five minutes, your back hurts. You got to sit down. I can't use you. Oh, y'all don't want to get practical and real in here, but I'm going to tell the truth anyway. These are our temples. It is where the Holy, we just read the scripture, is where the Holy Spirit dwells. We just going to let it look like and be like anything. We got to take care of our bodies. Where we go. <laughs> Guys, why are we taken? To, to, you know, the Holy Spirit lives in us, right? With the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, the place where Jesus dwells. Why are we taking the temple to the club? Why are we taking the temple over that man's house, he's married. Why are we taking the temple, sorry y'all, to the weed man? Now I know some of y'all are saying that, you know, sometimes it's medicinal, and that, but if that's really the case, I'm, I'm going to leave y'all alone. But a lot of y'all ain't no medicinal nothing. Here, the, the Bible says to abstain from the very appearance of evil. Can y'all imagine me pulling up, talking about, let me get it. 
Let me get a dime set. How would that look? That might actually ruin my entire testimony. Do y'all see where I'm going? We have got to be disciplined in our bodies. If he say don't go, don't go. If he says no, that's just what it is. Watch what you're putting in your body. Take care of it and abstain from sexual sin. Listen, if you say, listen, Kenya, it's really hard for me. It's hard for me, okay, Pastor Ken? It's hard for me. Call me. We'll just suffer together. We'll pray through it. <laughs> I'm dead serious. We have got to take care of our bodies. 